Apollonia. Um, today I thought I'd go through a few of the frequently asked questions that we get about Catalonia, Camping Argostoli um, and our mobile homes that we have here. Now Catalonia is one of the larger of the Greek islands but it only has 40,000 residents so not very busy at all. Obviously during the summer it does get exceptionally busy because of tourists. It's only three hours, 20 minutes by plane, and the campsite is roughly 20 minutes away by car. Um, flights run from, direct flights run from the end of March through to first week of November. Um, you can get here during the winter. You can fly to Athens and then get a little hopper plane across. Not too expensive, around about 40 euros. Really, really good planes. We've done it ourselves a couple of times through the winter. Really, really good. It's Agent Airs or Olympic Air. Um, like I say, really reasonable in prices. So you can get here all year round, but it is easier flying direct. EasyJet, Tom, uh, TUI, Jet2, they all fly here through the summer season. Um, plenty to do on the island. Great for families. 21 blue flag beaches. The water is crystal clear. Um, really safe for children. There's quite a few busy beaches, Costa Costa, um, down in Lassie is one of the main beaches, lots of water sports, pedlows, jet skis, bananas, parascending, paragliding. We've also got Z Beach over in Lixuri, which is a town which is just opposite the bay from, our, from camping Argostoli. Um, once again, lots of water sports, restaurants, um, really great day. Difference for the two beaches, Costa Costa Beach has white sand and Z Beach, being across the other side of the island, has its famous red sand. Plenty of different activities going on as well, quite a few historical sites. Argostoli, the main town, um, five minute drive away from the campsite, or it is walkable, probably 30 minutes. I wouldn't recommend it in the heat though guys. Lots to do in Argostoli, lots of bars, restaurants, coffee shops, general shopping. You can take a little trip around the lagoon. You can walk around the lagoon or you can hire pedalos or boats out. And one of the main attractions down in Argostoli are the turtles. Now the turtles are there all year round, but you can see them more during the summer season or when the fishing boats come in. They tend to follow the fishermen in so because they know they're going to be fed. It's definitely great to go down and have a little look. We have a turtle research team called Wildlife Senses um, that look after the turtle nests and do all the research throughout the year. They're always on hand down in Argostoli to answer any questions that you have. So it's a great little island with plenty of things to do. We do I do recommend that you do get some form of transport if you are thinking of coming out here on holiday because it's just a little bit better to explore the island. Like I say, there's 21 blue flag beaches but there's hundreds of hidden little gems as well. Um, Camping Argostoli itself is five minutes from Argostoli, the main city, and 15 minutes, 10 15 minutes by car to Lassie, which is a seasonal town. So it's in a really, really good location. The campsite itself is open 12 months of the year. So anyone out there that's thinking of living here, yes, you can live here. That's no problem at all. The restaurant on site and the facilities. They're only open through the season, so they're only open from April through to beginning of October. Um, but like I say, everything else is here. Um, they don't turn off our water or the electric or anything like that, so you can reside here for 12 months of the year. Um, we've also, you are, one of the questions we do get asked, if you're allowed to bring pets, yes you can, absolutely no problem. Um, you can bring dogs, cats, any pet that you have. Just make sure that from the UK you do your research as to what paperwork you need. Not to come over to Greek necessarily, but to actually get back into the UK. We brought our little dog with us, our little Jack Russell. He settled in very, very well. One thing to bear in mind though is it is a lot hotter here than it is in the UK. So with the heat wise, they do have to sort of get used to the heat. But he's fine now. We walk him early in the morning, late in the evening, and then he just sits in front of a fan or the air conditioning through the day. But yes, you can bring your pets to the campsite. That's no problem at all. Um, the ground rent for the year is 2,850 euros. That includes your water with that. 
we pay electricity separately to the campsite and that's just metered and then generally the mobile homes use a gas bottle um, for cooking with the gas or for central heating if you do have central heating and to heat your water gas bo bottles generally range from 25 euros to 30 euros depending on the size there's a couple of um, companies nearby that will deliver and take your empties as well so you don't necessarily have to have transport or you can just pop it in the car and drive into Argostoli it's not such a hardship um, the campsite itself has got a small playground for children, main restaurant, it does have a laundry on site, it does have a couple of washing machines. So if you're only coming out for a holiday, it's great to know if you um, purchase a mobile home and you haven't got a washing machine in there, then we do have some um, washing machines on site. There are a couple. They charge four euros um, per token. Um, they work quite well and obviously you don't need a dryer because we've got the natural dryer and the sun. The mobile homes, a couple of recommendations I would say having sort of moved out here in the last couple of years, air conditioning. Air conditioning is an absolute must um, through the hot weather. If you're coming out on holiday just for a couple of weeks here and there, you may be alright for a couple of fans, but I would recommend you get air conditioning if you are going to if you're planning on coming out for longer periods. Also well with the air conditioning, um, it's a great way to heat your caravan in the chillier months the weather itself is great through from april through to november time end of november and then it can get a little bit chilly not as cold as england at all but it can get a little bit damp so getting some kind of heat source into your mobile home we would definitely definitely recommend we have gas central heating it's great you wouldn't have to go that far if you're thinking of buying a mobile home um, they've got some great little electric fires in there just to take the edge off but it is also something to think about is your heating um, people just assume that the island is hot all year round but unfortunately it isn't but like I say much better weather than back in the UK that we're having um, washing machines I have just sort of broached the subject that if you're just looking for like a holiday home not really a necessity but then again um, if you are thinking of coming out here for longer periods then I would recommend that if you can have a washing machine fitted into your home then I'd go for it, much easier. There are some laundrettes down in Argostoli but they are quite expensive um, so I would recommend that if you are coming out for the longer term then a washing machine is a must. Um, all of our mobile homes that we sell do come with a balcony and a decking area. Um, and you are, just so you know, we do get asked this quite a lot, whether or not you're allowed barbecues on site. Yes, you are allowed barbecues on site. That isn't seasonal or anything like that, but you just have to take extra care through the summer season. Um, they have fire watch and things like that. As you can imagine that on the island, it gets very dry and we do suffer with some fires. But yes, you can have barbecues on the campsite. That isn't a problem at all. Now, your ground rent, as I've said, is 2,850. It's just payable each year. Um, that's 2,850 euros, so working it out with the um, pounds to euros, it's roughly 200 pounds a month. At the moment on the site we have two mobile homes available for purchase. We have our Pemberton Park Lane, which is on sale for 54,995. It's two big bedrooms, a lounge, kitchen, diner. All the information for that is on our website. We've also got some tempos as well they're um, being set up at the moment on Sunday when I go live on Sunday we will be showing you around the tempo and they are on sale for 35,000 um, and that includes full air conditioning and a full balcony as well when I show you round, the balcony won't be in place but that is something that's in the process of being built now I'm just standing here at the beach and I keep turning around I do understand that but any of you that are looking I'm just going to show you the fantastic view that we have from Camping Argostoli. So this is the beach. As you can see, absolutely no wind today. So the water is as still as a mill pond. It's crystal clear. You can see how shallow it is. So great for kids once again. You can walk out for miles. I'll just turn around. There's a little main road. It's not a very busy road at all. And there is Camping Argostoli just opposite. Hi Marie! 
all the way from Ireland and hi Paul as well I'm glad you saw the turtles I mean I've been here numerous times but I'll be honest with you I still love going down to Argos Daly to see the turtles the dolphins come into the bay as well but it's very rare that you do see them um, anyone coming out for a holiday as well um, there's plenty of boat trips that you can go on and fishing trips and you do get to see the dolphins as well on none of those trips just panning around got beautiful mountains in the background and then just over this side in the background that that is Lixuri which is another main town of Argostoli quite a bit of history about the vote that went on about which to make the capital city but the statues over in Lixuri all have their backs turned towards Argostoli because obviously they didn't win the vote and Argostoli did so we're just going to pan round temperature today has gone slightly down it's only 30 today little bit more bearable than the 40s and the 42s that we had hi Susan from Scotland and the hot weather will go all the way through to the end of September so there we go so I hope I've managed to answer quite a few of the questions about the campsite and about the island itself and about the mobile homes all other details can be found on the caravans in the sun website or the facebook pages feel free to message in there we go so i hope you enjoyed the view and enjoyed our sunshine and uh, make sure you tune in on sunday at the same time it's 12 noon your time, 2 p.m. Greek time, and we will be showing you around the tempo that we have on site. So I hope to see you all, all on Sunday. Bye.